Bookmarks are a great feature of Microsoft Search. They allow your users to find what they need, just like with browser bookmarks, but these are baked into Microsoft Search. So you don't have to tell someone to add a particular bookmark. It'll just show up if they search for the term in the Microsoft Search interface. Let's dive into this, see how it works, and see how to configure it. To get started creating bookmarks, we're gonna be heading to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. From here, we're gonna expand out settings and then go to search and intelligence. Under the answers heading, you'll see bookmarks. There's already a lot that are listed here created as part of your tenant. So these are automatically provided and can be used or deleted if you don't want them. Let's see how one of these things looks. We'll go to the Contoso Electronics Hub site. This is a home site as well. It was designated as a home site. So this is gonna search all the sites. If I type in Yammer, then we'll see the Yammer bookmark come up. You know it's a bookmark because of the icon right here. You still see all of the search results related to that term Yammer below it, but the bookmarks will always be above that. Back in the Search and Intelligence Center, you'll see that bookmark that came up. So if you wanted to make any changes, you could just click on Edit and do anything you'd like with this particular record. And not only are these things automatically in here, but as content is added to your tenant, more will automatically get published as well. This is another one of the features of this bookmark system. It will suggest new bookmarks as it finds frequently used links within your organization. If there's a high traffic link, then at some point it's going to get added as a suggested bookmark. Whether that bookmark is automatically published and available for use, or you're gonna to have to go in there and manually publish that yourself is controlled by this setting right here. If you click on manage settings, then you will see that the setting right now is set to automatically publish recommended bookmarks for your users. If you want to manually review them beforehand, then you can click on manually selected bookmarks to publish for your users to ensure that nothing is automatically published without your intervention. If you wanna create a new bookmark, then we can click on the add bookmark button and fill in the details. So we've got the basic information filled out, title, URL, description, and keywords. The keywords in this case is what a user would type in to try and find this. Then there's the reserved keywords. Now the way that reserved keywords work, only one item can have this particular keyword. So this is the only bookmark they could have. In this case, we're gonna add in policies and procedures. So no other bookmark is going to be able to have the phrase policies and procedures as, their, as a keyword at all, even in the regular keywords. This is gonna ensure that the people find the correct policies and procedures for Contoso. Next are the categories, and the categories are gonna let you organize these in the admin center only. Users don't see this, it doesn't impact users in any way, but what we can do is type in something like corporate links. That way we can find all of our corporate links, assuming we're using this same tag for all of those links. You get additional settings here to control when this bookmark is live, what regions it's available in, which groups or subsets of users should see this, the device support for this bookmark, a combination of device and location, and then if a power app should be showing up as well with this, which is a very neat feature. I don't need any of those turned on right now, so I'm just gonna click publish to make this live. And now we can go see how this works. And there's our new bookmark, it's already showing up. There is no delay between when you add a bookmark and when it's available. The users can see this right away, which is as fast as you could possibly expect it to be. Some of the other features with this include being able to exclude a URL to make sure that something can't be suggested as a bookmark. Note that this will block a URL and all sub pages. Now this doesn't block you from being able to add a bookmark at one of these, this just stops the recommended bookmark feature. Now, even though all of these links are going to be security trimmed, and if a user doesn't have access to view that link, that bookmark will not show up, you may have the need to hide particular sites to make sure that nothing on them can be 
suggested or added as a bookmark. So this is how you would do that. You can also import and export bookmarks here, and that includes importing the promoted results from SharePoint search. If you wanna move that stuff up into the Search and Intelligence Center and have them be bookmarks, you can do that. Otherwise, if you wanna export all of this and manage it all in Excel and then re-import it, you certainly have that option. And speaking of management, what you can do is you can click on the filter here to see the different statuses. So if I wanted to see what suggested bookmarks are in the system, I can click on that and see all of these different ones. These happen to have been added automatically to the tenant, but I can click on benefits, for example, and see all the configuration for this. Notice there's multiple languages. I can edit this and add in the URL to my benefits site. So there's a lot of things that are all ready to be configured and used in the environment. The other filters in here allow you to see what's in draft mode, what's scheduled to go live, anything that's been excluded, so there's a lot of areas to reduce the amount of bookmarks you're seeing to make management easier. Speaking about the amount of bookmarks, you can have up to 5,000 bookmarks in this system before it stops you from adding any more. Now some tips for these bookmarks, since you're gonna configure what it looks like on the screen, this isn't YouTube, you don't want clickbaity titles, you want short titles that users can quickly identify. And the way that the suggested bookmarks work is that every 30 days, the system analyzes the previous 30 day period and all of the frequently clicked on links, all those hot links are gonna be evaluated to see which ones should be added. Now, depending on how you configured it, they'll either be auto-published or left in a suggested state. And they won't be in a suggested state forever because after about 180 days, those suggested bookmarks are going to be removed to avoid flooding your system with just tons and tons of things for you to have to manage. So let me know what you think of this bookmark feature. It's certainly a more updated version of the old promoted results feature that was in SharePoint Search. If you're trying to learn more about Microsoft Search, then click up into this playlist to learn more and subscribe to the channel with notifications to make sure you know when all these new videos go live.